Okay, let's do uh, problem number five uh, of the uh, free body diagram problems. And it says, uh, a small satellite has a mass of 112 kilogram. It's firing two small rocket thrusters to adjust its orbit. Thruster one applies a 20 Newton force at an angle of 20 degrees, uh, while thruster two applies a 40 Newton force at an angle of 110 degrees. So you just have to assume some kind of axis system for uh, this. Um, these are the only forces acting on the satellite. What is the magnitude and direction of the net force on the satellite, and what is the magnitude and direction of the acceleration? So let's zoom out. Okay. All right. So this this one, look look at this. Um, yeah, so here's a, a really well-drawn satellite. It's got silver panels and everything. JPL would be proud of you guys. So here's a one thruster applying a force. Now, the thruster's right there, so you could show the force like that, and this thruster's going like that, but whatever. Uh, so these, these thrusters are applying these two forces uh, on the satellite. So that's what's given, and we want to know uh, magnitude and direction of the net force and the acceleration. So we're going to draw the free body diagram, and here they've done that. Looks pretty good. Um, and here we've taken uh, uh, this, and you're showing the angle. Well, here's the free body diagram. Now, I would have liked to have seen on the free body diagram the, the X and Y components actually drawn on the free body. Looks like that's what you're doing right there. Okay. And then um, you've got, uh, so let's sum the forces in the y direction. And in the y direction, you've got uh, Fb sine theta and, F, and Fa sine theta. And they, so here's the, uh, the y component of, of B plus the y component of A. And that's equal to 37.6 plus 6.8. And they got 44.4 newtons in the y direction. Okay, and then in the, in the x direction, uh, well, we do the same thing, but we have cosine plus cosine. Here's the, the x component of B, the x component of A. Uh, use cosine and, uh, to get these components. And when you add them together, notice these are kind of uh, opposing each other. And so they have a, a um, force on the satellite of 5.1 newtons. And so, uh, so now we have the X and Y components of the, um, so the total force, now they use R right here, that's fine. We can use F net, the net force. The net force, when you use Pythagorean theorem, is 44.7 newtons. And then the angle using inverse tangent, well, both, both of these uh, components, the Y component and the X component are both positive. So it's going to be in the first quadrant at 83 degrees. That looks, uh, that looks good to me. And so uh, the resultant force, the resultant force, and this should be like F net. I wouldn't call it R. I would call it the net force. F net is what you get when you add up all the forces together. Is 44.7 newtons at 83 degrees. I think that makes sense. Right? You, you, you other groups got the same thing, right? Did you? And then now, to solve for acceleration, all you have to do is divide this net force by the mass. And you get uh, 0.4 meters per second squared. And what's the direction of that acceleration? The direction of the acceleration is always the same as the uh, direction of the net force. Very good. That is all. <laughs>